Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Media Talks TV. I'm your host, Tony J. Um, today in this episode, we're going to do a movie review. Um, there's some new trailers coming out this week. Well, new trailers came out this week. And um, I wanted to know what everybody thinks about it. Um, there's this new movie. It's actually, there's several movies, actually. Um, we're going to take a look at the first one um, called Killers of the Flower Moon. And uh, the first time I saw it, I was intrigued by it. Um, I don't know what I would personally say about the movie, but I'm actually looking forward to this new Martin Scorsese movie that's coming out. It's very historic. I like historic dramas. I like... Uh, Dramas that are actually based on true events. And um, this one was really about the Osage people and how they're how they were killed off. And how one man got away with it. And um, I think it's a very important story. Um, we don't hear about these types of stories in his, uh, American history books, but um what I thought about the trailer, I think it was very good. Um, and I feel like that story itself really deals with um, really the evils of capitalism. And there was a lot of things that went on in uh, Oklahoma. And one of those things was the, the murdering of the Osage people. The Osage people were, at one point, one of the wealthiest group of Native Americans in the world because they sat on reservations of oil. And by luck, they found out how wealthy they could be. And then every, and then every white American swoops in and takes their land and it's kind of a perverse evil that the united states really doesn't want to talk about especially especially in these times everything is so politically correct but um i want you to take a look at this clip and i'll be right back and i'll give my observations about it um there's other movies we're also going to be diving into uh might have seen the Napoleon um, trailer. Uh, people have been talking about the Napoleon trailer um, this week, and um, that that movie has got that trailer has gotten over five million views in twenty four hour period, which is unheard of for for a trailer for a movie, high profile movie. Um, that's coming up soon. Napoleon with Joaquin Phoenix. So I'm I'm looking forward to that movie. But the biggest movie, the biggest movie that I'm looking forward to is the One Love Bob Marley biopic. I saw that trailer, and I literally I was like, about fucking time. And I, I think um, what's so intriguing about that that trailer is, um, I guess, uh, you know, it's about one of the greatest musicians of the 20th century. Bob Marley was one of those um, musicians that you really never forget in entertainment, but also because of his consciousness. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, there are several musicians that you don't forget. There's Michael Jackson, there's Elvis, there's James Brown, and then there's Bob Marley, who stood on those. Oh, yeah, and um, the Beatles, John Lennon. Um, they were the most high ranking, great, greatest musicians of the 20th century. So to see a biopic finally on Bob Marley after we done seen Rhapsody, um, um, the one on Freddie Mercury, I forgot the name of 
off the top of my head, but after seeing one with Freddie Mercury, after seeing one about Elton John, now we get one of the greatest reggae singers of all time who actually who uh, actually took reggae and put it on a global stage. Um, Bob Marley and the Whalers, nobody had known about reggae until Bob Marley started touring all around the world and started touring all around London. And people started to love reggae. Reggae music had been secluded to only Kingston, Jamaica. And then when Bob Marley came out, it became, reggae became a global phenomenon that people wanted to be a part of. So, you know, we're going to check out those three trailers and then I'm going to give my commentary on it. So I'll be right back. You know, you got you got nice color skin. What color would you say that is? My color. The Osage, they have the worst land possible. But they outsmarted everybody. The land had oil on it. Black gold. Money flows freely here now. I do love that money, sir. <laughs> <laughs> This wealth should come to us. Their time is over. It's just gonna be another tragedy. When this money started coming, we should have known it came with something else. They're like buzzards circling our people. We're still warriors. to kill these white men who killed my family. I need you here. I am right here. You've got to take back control of your home. I was uh, sent down from Washington, D.C. to see about these murders. See what about them? See who's doing it. a miracle to make all this go away. You know they don't happen anymore. I guess the most anticipated movie that I look forward to um, for 2024 would be the Bob Marley biopic. Um, I saw this trailer not long ago last week as well, followed by the um, Killer of the Flower Moon. Um, when I first saw the trailer, I was kind of like, it was kind of like surreal. But um, I felt like it was a long time coming. Uh, we didn't know whether or not there was going to be a movie made on Bob Marley because of what he represented. But, of course, he's one of the greatest musicians to come out of the 20th century. You have many musicians, like I said in my, um, previously, you have many musicians that have made an impact on the world. One would be Michael Jackson, John Lennon, Elvis, James Brown, and now uh, Bob Marley. Bob Marley was different because 
what's fascinating about this trailer is now we get to see who Bob Marley was behind the music. And, you know, after his death, um, he became a global icon after that. He helped bring reggae music and Rastafarianism to the world. And most of that isn't really talked about. You know, he's what I would consider the black Bob Dylan in a lot of ways. Um you know it's 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 fascinating because we didn't know what what I've read about the background of the trailer is that the family was working with Paramount Pictures behind the scenes to try and get the story told. And there was a documentary on Netflix, but it doesn't really cut in depth about who he was as a musician and it would I'm I'm pretty excited about this movie coming out because we get to see a side of the African diaspora for one but we also um get to see uh Jamaican politics as it pertains to black people in the Caribbean because during the time that Bob Marley was alive, um, Kingston was entrenched in a lot of political strife. And his music brought together communities. So, you know, looking at this and thinking, well, I can't wait to see this movie. I can't wait till it comes out on Paramount+. Plus. And also, you know, we're getting to see a tale of one of the greatest Black musicians to ever walk the face of the earth. So, you know, as we check out this, this trailer and also the last one which I'm going to talk about which is the most popular one um the other one is uh Napoleon so we're going to run this clip and then and we're going to get back into uh, a discussion about Napoleon movie
it was mind blowing, wasn't it? I was blown away by the trailer as well. And, you know, like I said, Bob Molly is one of the greatest musicians of the 20th century. And, you know, with with the, you know, the popularity of biopics have be, become big in the last 10 years. And I think I think one of the one of the reasons is because because biopics have become such an interesting thing is mainly because I think it all started with the popularity of Ray. And I remember that when Ray came out, how big Ray was on the biopic on Ray Charles. And that's how the popularity of these biopics started to become a thing. And, um, you know, I think if there was anybody worthy, and I and I, I'll tell you this straight off, straight up. Besides Bob Marley, besides the James Brown biopic that came out, because I I even thought that was too little, too late for that movie to be released. Should have been released a long time ago. But um, if there's any movie that I'm like might get psyched out of my mind about if a trailer came up they got to do a biopic on Rick James they got to this man had a wild wild life and from stuff that I've heard what I've read in his his uh memoirs and even the documentary, wildest rock, wildest funk musician to to ever do what he did. I don't think they could ever be another Rick James. And what's fascinating about Rick James' life is, um, he made a he tried to make a comeback. And ultimately, that led to his demise, ultimately. But there's never been another musician, never Black musician, to do what Rick James did to, to have all this, all this, uh, um, I guess, how do I say it? Uh, to have all this all this popularity and then have a big rise in the 80s and then have a big fall coming into the 90s or Rick James story is very unique and I'm I'm hoping that Hollywood starts thinking about the planning stages of um a Rick James biopic and um another person that's worthy of a biopic cuz I've been talking about this too I even talk about this with my friends Marion Barry is another guy that is fascinating. Um, he's very deserving of a biopic, right? Um, who's the other? It's, it's, I think Jamie Foxx could play Marion Barry, and I know that's crazy me saying that. I think, I think, I think. Mary, I think Jamie Foxx can play Marion Barry. I think he could fucking pull it off. 
He got the facial features. He he's he's very well. He's not well. I think Marion Barry wasn't a very tall man. I don't know. I think he was. He was very thin. So he has a thin stature. But um, uh, Marion Barry at one point was really big. But um, I think Jamie Foxx could play Marion Barry. And I think he's worthy of a biopic because of the controversy that surrounded his life and his tenure as mayor. People still make jokes about Marion Barry. And it was just like, like when you think about the 1990s, if you if you know what happened. And I I wasn't even born yet. But at the start of the 1990, the year 1990, many things happened. January 1990 was the year Marion Barry got caught in a hotel room smoking crack. And that controversy has led to a ripple effect about Washington, D.C. and a perception people have about Washington, D.C. They still make jokes about this constantly. And, and, he, and people like um, people like uh, uh, Arsenio Hall and Living Color, they all made jokes about Marion Barry. They all made jokes about about um, this it, it, they all made jokes about Marion Barry, and it was it was crazy. It's what really set the tone for the nineties when it came to when it came to controversy and uh, controversial topics, and that's what was so interesting. But he's very deserving of a biopic. Because Washington D.C. isn't what isn't the city that it is that it was right now. Back then, nobody wanted to go to Washington D.C. After Marin Barry left office and set things in place, everybody wants to come to Washington D.C. Everybody wants to live in Washington D.C. There's gentrification in Washington D.C. Why? Because of the things that Marion Barry did. But beyond the controversy of his his that incident. There was a lot of things that that he was coming up with power in Washington D.C. and you see a man who's rise to power. He he rise to power, and then that incident made him go into dissent. And then there's the 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 level of the racism right under it, and the racial element under it, because Washington D.C. is a predominantly black city, and that led to a lot of things and how you know. Marion Barry was stripped of his power because of that one incident. And he's very deserving, very deserving of a biopic because people could understand what happened. He's kind of like on the same level as maybe, you know, if Oliver Stone, Oliver Stone wrote Nixon, I think somebody could write a, a, a movie on Marion Barry. But um, out of all of that, um, this last trailer, um, of course, is about the most popular because it got 19 million uh, views, 19 million hits on YouTube, uh, the Na Napoleon movie. And, you know, like all historical movies, there's always going to be debates about fact and fiction and sometimes Hollywood can get it right and Hollywood can get it wrong but the thing that makes it interesting is Joaquin Phoenix is in this movie and um, we're getting to know who Napoleon Bonaparte was and understanding the different battles and understanding French society and how French society got got to where it is now. So, you know, we're gonna check this out, but I'm gonna I'm gonna close out with this. And 
understanding some of these movies that are coming out. Most of the time when you see a movie about a historical event, you you really have to make sure you do two things. One is to make sure you read up about the person that you're watching. Uh, one thing when I remember when Malcolm X had came out and with Sp the Spike Lee version and um, I, I read the autobiography of Malcolm X and I, there are some things that were in the, the biography, the autobiography that were not in the movie or couldn't be formatted to fit into the movie. Of, so when you're looking at a historical figure, you really got to make sure you do yourself a favor and actually read about these people before you go see the movie, because then you could come out of the movie and, you know, some some people have controversies and some people take artistic. Like I said, movies have artistic license, but, you know, with. When it comes to history, you cannot play with the facts. You cannot supplement the facts. And I think with this Napoleon trailer, you're going to understand who Napoleon was, but you're not going to understand the battles in which he participated in. Some, some of those things aren't going to be historically accurate, depending on how many years it, it was. This is a 200-year-old history, so, you know, Hollywood most definitely will not get it right when it comes to Napoleon Bonaparte. But, you know, out of the trailer, I know there's a lot of popularity about the trailer, so, you know, you watch it and you come up with an idea for yourself, you know. Leave comments in the description box, hit the like, subscribe to Media Talk TV. We got more reviews, movie reviews, long shows, content, short form content coming your way. Um, this is Tony J, and I thank you for coming in. I thank you for subscribing if you're a new subscriber. And welcome to Media Talks TV. I'm out. See you next time. No doubt you've seen the chaos in the streets. We must make an example or France will fall. What would you do if this assignment of defense was transferred to you? I promise you brilliant successes. This costume you have on. This is my uniform. So I led the French victory at Toulon. What is your name? Napoleon. Has the course of my life just changed? Napoleon. I'm destined for greatness. But those in power will only see me as a sword. I suggest you take the throne as a king. king. Shall we vote? This vermin has held the world hostage with his egotism and his lack of simple good manners. You're great. You are just a tiny little brute. That it is nothing without me. All of Europe is uniting forces against me. What's the outcome of this if you don't succeed? Your Majesty, we are discovered. Good. Ice! It's a trap! I'm the first to admit when I make a mistake. I simply never do.